time for another music video and uh, today I'm going to uh, review an album by the Charlatans called Different Days which was released in 2017. Now I have already done a uh, uh, Modern Nature which was the album released before this um, um, and it's fair to say I'll probably be doing more of their discography in the future. Just a quick reminder for those that are not familiar with this band. They were formed in the West Midlands by one Martin Blunt on bass. And he got together with Rob Collins on keyboards, uh, John Brooks on drums and John uh, Baker on guitar and a singer Baz Ketley. Ketley left fairly briefly after the band started and was replaced by the singer Tim Burgess. Now, although the charlatans uh, would later become popularly associated with the Manchester scene, the band's early demos were recorded uh, in 1988 in Birmingham and Dudley. They already evidenced the sound that the band ultimately became famous for, dominated by Collins' Hammond organ, but underpinned by some driving rhythm sections uh, of Blunt's powerful bass and Brooks's drumming. And their debut album uh, was released in 1990 called uh, Some Friendly. Uh, and uh, Mark uh, Collins released, ba replaced Baker in 1991. And uh, he got into a spot of bother in 1992, ended up serving a four month prison sentence for assisted back, uh, armed robbery. In 1995, they released their self-titled fourth album, and this saw them become a major UK stars again, topping the UK album charts. And there was also a, a single, top 20 single, just when you're thinking things are over. Keyboard player, however, Rob Collins, was killed in a traffic accident in 1996, doing the recording of the fifth album titled Telling Stories. Stories. And keyboardist Martin Duffy replaced uh, Collins at that time. The album was finally released in 1997. On uh, September uh, 2010, however, drummer John Brooks collapsed, collapsed during a performance in Philadelphia on the US tour that had been arranged. Those dates were postponed and Brooks was later diagnosed with a brain tumour was operated on and uh, took a course of radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, the Verve's uh, Peter Salisbury acted as standing drummer for the remainder of the UK's Charles Charlton's dates. Then Brooks did return to the stage uh, for the Christmas and New Year Eve's gigs in 2010. Uh, but regrettably in 2013, he died from the tumour uh, and the following album, the 2014 album, Modern Nature, uh, saw the band use temporary drummers, uh, Pete Salisbury again from The Verve, Stephen Morris from New Order and Gabrielle Guernsey. Uh, and I, rec uh, as I say, reviewed that album and I consider it a, an absolute gem uh, and it was my album of the year. So let's move on to uh, uh, the current album uh, and uh, uh, just to try and get some perspective, this uh, album I think is the 13th album uh, by this band. The current membership is Burgess Blunt, Mark Collins and Tony Rogers and he joined in 1999 when Us and Us Only was released. So we're now going to have a look at Different Days, which came out in 2017. It's actually the last album that they've released, although apparently there is a new album planned for this year, and I can't wait. Um, they're described as a band as uh, uh, rock with Brit pop. Not quite sure what these uh, labels mean these days. But anyway, I'm now going to go through uh, the track by track appreciation of different days. It's to be said that uh, their style of music is still uh, as uh, we expect it to be with 
uh, uh, certainly a, a considerable bi bias towards the keyboards um, and that full uh, rhythm sound. So let's get started with Hey Sunshine Rise. Um, there's a nice acoustic intro here with the piano, which enables uh, Burgess's vocals to be way up front in the mix. It's got an enchanting melody and, and, and it's sort of encouraging you to join the party. A magical pop song, really, with skippy beats and a wall of arrangements adding to spacey keyboards and synths. It's got a lovely soul edge and the chorus is delectable. Lyrically, simple lyric really about being positive with your soulmate about the future. Next up is Solutions, uh, a jerky funky drum keyboard riff here. Salisbury's drums uh, uh, add some synth sounds to it and it's got a hypnotic beat with some lush Burgess vocals. Lyrically, the world consumed with problems and how do we avoid solutions? That's what it, I took from the lyric. And the will be lyrics sheets are littered throughout this video so you can read them in their entirety. Uh, and so to the next track. Track Different Days is track three. And there's a female talking in the Japanese language at the intro. Don't know what the hell it means, but it then leads to a nice skippy melody with intimate harmonies. The keyboards are glittering with shine as usual and a short guitar solo that picks up the pace and intensity. It's a great track, really. Lyrically, not, uh, not sure of that Japanese, but uh, maybe it's got something to do with different time zones provoking uh, things differently. Four, uh, fourth track is Future Tense. Tense, it segues from free uh, with some spoken word and there's some ringing guitars and chiming keyboards throughout. Lyrically, the spoken word referred to is from Ian Ranking, who's a Scottish uh, prime writer. Not sure what it's about. Uh, maybe a criminal staying undetected and hidden somewhere. And so to next track, which is Plastic Machinery. It segues in again from uh, Four, and Burgess is wondrous on this. Great pop voice, strong pop rhythms, punchy indie rock with a touch of class. The solid guitar solo again raises the temperature. It's a wonderful sound, really great production on this album. Uh, lyrically, it's about technology uh, and how this affects relationships the ups and downs of relationships. Next up is uh, The Forgotten One, another spoken world, which segues into seven. Uh, the message in the spoken word, lost friends and the pain of rejection. Not Forgotten follows, and that's got a really powerful haunting beat. Uh, and they really strike you as a band totally on the same page. Solid rock with pop flavor. Again, brief guitar that's exhilarating. And this track's an instrumental. Uh, to the next track then, uh, There Will Be Chances. Again, Skippy Piano uh, linked with the vocals in front of a laid back guitar melody enables Burgess to weave his boyish vocals. Excellent drum work again, very spacey. Lyrically, a vein about life's lessons and how to look out for future experience that will match your early ones. Track nine over again, uh, the keyboards drive this addictive drum beat. It's very funky, nice percussion. Lyrically, the magical feeling of love arriving and wanting a repeat of that feeling. Track 10, the same house. Uh, it's got a choral intro into a synthesized loop under Burgess's strident pop vocals. And then the beat changes to a Caribbean style. That's uh, uplifting for sure. And then a swift end. Lyrically, I'm not too sure about this one. Something and nothing. And then we get to track 11, Let's Go Together. Lots of jangly guitars on this and a rhythm that slots in like a hand in glove. Burgess on top form again with that pop silky voice and a tender segue into track 12. The track lyrics are about finding old love, possibly, and finding where they are. Track 12, the segue track, is the setting sun. 
uh, nice acoustic guitars melt in uh, its way into the uh, uh, song and the keyboards takes a nod to Ray Manzarak of The Doors creates that full sound of atmosphere for this instrumental. So to the closer now, Spinning Out, and this was co-written by Paul Weller, who also features on piano, uh, uh, which leads into the intro. And then there's a wall of guitars and Beach Boys-like harmonies capture your attention. It's a great closer full of drenched pallid tones. Uh, a stunning closer, I would say. Lyrically, it's a poignant reminder of the magic of childhood and feeling secure with those loved ones, parents, siblings, and latterly maybe uh, uh, lovers. And I feel that things don't always improve with age. That's what my interpretation. So uh, to my summary, uh, not quite up to the standard of uh, modern nature, which was really a gem, but a very, very solid collection of songs by the Charlatans. They continue to be a band that I really do enjoy listening to. This one takes a little bit longer to get into the tracks. Um, I guess it's because there is a similar feel to many of the tracks. Uh, but they've got such a solid keyboard, uh, guitar-driven uh, rhythm uh, that they, they hang on to. They nurture that because that's what the band are all about. And of course, Burgess's vocals continue to be exceptional. It's a good album. It never got recognised, of course, uh, not from where I was uh, viewing the music scene. But I would suggest you get a listen to it. It's called Different Days. It's called by the Charlatans and it was released in 2017. <laughs>